Hi Internet, here in this video we are going to start a new tutorial series and we are starting to learn the programming language Julia. Julia is a high level language that performs very fast. So we can write easy code but in the end the program will run very fast. Start We'll go to the Julia website, so we just type into Google Julia language and then we go to the website julialang.org. There we are going to the download set section and then for your system you can download your Windows or Mac or Linux. I will just download for Windows. Then we will wait for a couple of seconds and after that we will just install Julia. The next thing we'll need is the Atom. So here, that's the right link, just atom.io. Then we click download. We will download for the right system. So the download will start and when this is downloading we will go to um, our folder where we download Julia. We can just install Julia by double clicking it. For some reason I downloaded twice. I will import it. So now Julia start installing. So now it's extracting. It's just a simple installing process, so there's nothing special about it. And also we can install the Atom setup. So we just double click that. Get the installer for that while Julia is installing and select our installation path that may be important later on when you want to open the Julia REPL so the Julia REPL is just a command line but it's more powerful than a command line so you can actually edit your code in the command line and execute it there so it feels like Python, so it feels as it, as it is interpreted, but it's actually compiled to machine code, and that's why it's so fast. So we'll just finish that, and then we have the location. So where we want to um, remember this location, it's in, in Windows. It's hard to find because um, because app data it's a hidden folder so you have to type it in here in this line so to start Julia we just double click on Julia and then we will get to the REPL and Atom is also installing so that will take a while to install, maybe three minutes or five minutes. And in the meantime, we can just um, look at the REPL and see what we can do there. Okay, this is the Julia REPL. Here we can do basic math like 1 plus 1 and Julia will return the answer. We can also we can also write functions like 3x to the power of 2 minus x or something like that. And then we have a function 
and can evaluate this function here for example three we get the answer we can edit so just by um, using the arrow keys on the keyboard we can we can go to the last commands and then we can alter the function but um, this is a task for later on so we will just wait until the IDE is installed so now that Atom is installed we have to install a couple of plugins so we can say yes to this and go to the installer package open that and we can search for Juno then we can go to Juno this also will take a while but nothing special will happen there so we can when it's finished so now after it's finished we get the message if we want to use the standard layout and we will say yes and then we will have to go to some plugins here so the Julia Rebel also started here in Atom. But first we go to packages and then we will wait until the packages load. And there we will go to change the auto completion settings. So we going to be easier to write code here. So we go to O2 complete plus to the settings and there we will change from tab always enter when the tab is selected and we'll go to either tab or enter and or both so i will take both that that will be helpful when we edit code maybe one thing thing um, we will change the theme to light so it's easier to work outside or to watch the video. So we will change the UI theme to one light and the syntax theme as well. After we change that, we will go to either a new file or we just take here the title file and we will save it with control s or just here with file save we'll go for example desktop folder here for series and for the first tutorial, just call it one dot jl. Now the ID knows that it's Julia, and it can give us questions. And we'll just write one plus one to evaluate this line. We just press and hold shift and then enter and now Julia will take this line and calculate the result now in the beginning it will take a little while because Julia has to download the, the packages for this IDE now after all the packages are downloaded and installed we will see here the solution 1 plus 1 is 2 Okay, so now if we write function, we will get function just by typing enter, we will get an auto completion. Let's so 
we will get some suggestions. That's it for the first video where we just saw how to download Julia, install the IDE and set everything up for the next week where we will start with the basics and see how to program and how Julia works. Thank you.